Good morning, boys and girls. How are you doing? Isn't it great that we can come together to sing praises and worship God this morning? Now, to me, worship is like a big party, and we come together to celebrate God's greatness and faithfulness. Who here like to go to a party? Hold up your hands. Yeah, there are many reasons why people celebrate. Can you think of some? Very good. A lot of different things people celebrate. We know that there are tons of reasons, but today we will look at one very special celebration recorded in the book of Acts, chapter eleven. Now, before we dive into today's scripture, let me remind us a few things that we have learned the past couple weeks. Remember the first follower of Jesus when they gathered together in Jerusalem. They were all Jewish, and for a while. They thought that salvation was only for Jews, and the Messiah only come from for the Israelites. But later, we learned that Peter shared gospel with the Roman soldiers, a centurion called Cornelius and his family. Peter was so amazed that after he shared the gospel, the Holy Spirit came to all those who believe and accept Jesus, including Cornelius and his household. So let us continue with this story and see what happened next. Let's turn to Acts chapter eleven. Now God has commanded His disciple to tell everyone the good news of good news about Jesus, no matter who they were or where they came from. So Peter shared the gospel not only with Jews but with people from different countries, and we call these non-Jewish people Gentiles. The Gentiles in Caesarea, like Cornelius and his households, heard Peter's message about Jesus the Messiah, and they believed. God gave His Holy Spirit to these new believers, and they were baptized. Very soon, the apostles and other Jewish believers throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles had believed the good news about Jesus. They were very surprised. So Peter went up to Jerusalem and told them about. The vision God has given him. Remember that vision that a sheet coming down from heaven with clean and unclean animals, and how God has told him to go share the gospel to these Roman soldiers and his family. Peter explained to the Jewish believer that the gospel is actually designed for all people, regardless of what country they are from. And guess what the believer did when they hear this? Yes, they. Celebrated and praised God. They threw a huge worship and they praised God because they said, "God, you are just wonderful." They were filled with joy when they realized that Jesus has come to not only save them but to save all people, the Jews and the Gentiles. While this was happening, those believers who scattered after Stephen's murder has traveled to places like Phoenicia. Cyprus, Syria, and some believer from Cyprus and Cyrene went to Antioch and preached the gospel to the Greeks. God was with them, and a lot of Greeks believed the good news and becomes Christ's follower. The church in Jerusalem heard about these new believers, so they sent Barnabas to Antioch. Barnabas was a good man; he loved God and was full of faith. And the power of the Holy Spirit. When Barnabas arrived at Antioch, he saw how God was gracious to these non-Jewish believers. He was glad, and he continued to encourage the Greeks to keep following God. And more and more people trusted in Jesus. Then Barnabas left Antioch and went to Tarsus to look for Paul. He found Paul and brought him back to Antioch. The the two of them stayed with the church in Antioch for a year, teaching large crowds of people. Jesus' followers were the first to call Christian at Antioch when they first started the church there, and it's the first time the name Christians was used. Now, at this point in the early church history, 
something important began to change. The Jewish Christian has thought that salvation was only for them, but now the Gentiles were joining the church, and the church continued to grow farther and bigger as believers faithfully share the story of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. Jesus has taken on our sins, and when we turn to him, we find forgiveness. He has made a way for us to enter God's kingdom. God loves us and will welcome us with open arms. The good, new of, good news about Jesus is for everyone, and God calls us to celebrate when others believe and to help them know and love Jesus even more. So if you have friends, who just accepted Christ, we are here to encourage them to continue to follow Jesus and to love God more every day. Let us bow our head and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for the gift of salvation you have given us. And we are grateful that you welcome us into your family. We are thankful that the gospel is actually for everyone. And we want to celebrate all your blessings, including the faith of those in our church family. Please use us this week to encourage people around us as they seek to follow Jesus. And may everything we do be for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.